Uh, this video, I want to talk a little bit about the emotional world. Uh, the emotions, one of the emotions we learn is sadness. Uh, when you come onto the planet, you don't know that emotion. You have to work to learn it. And then uh, in our society, you're told not only do you have to learn it, but if you, you have to stuff it in, you have to keep it in, you can't express your sadness. And it, it, it really causes damage to the biological computer if you just can't let it up and out of there. But a, a friend of mine passed away a few years ago, a young man, 35 or 36 years old, two kids, um, and it was a slow insidious death. It was not pleasant. We, uh, <laughs> I met him in Houston one time, and he uh, got off the airplane. He was in a neck brace, an arm sling, and he was walking with a limp because the cancer was everywhere. And, and he walked over to me, and I got laughing, and he said, Are you laughing at me? I said, Man, you look really funny. I said, you're walking like this, and your neck's in a brace. I said, you look, you don't look like you. You look funny. And he looked at me for a long time, and then he said, I guess I'm going to get people taking this serious as I go through this, aren't I? I said, yeah. I said, I think a lot of people are going to take it real serious, that you're not doing well. And it's, it's. Uh, he said, okay, let's sit and laugh. And we did while he was there. But he went on, and he passed away, and his mom was upset. Um, and uh, she came to a booth at a chiropractic show, and she sat down with me, and it was strange to see her there, because I hadn't seen her in a while. And it was not very private, except that it was. Usually I'm really, really busy, but for hours on end, we didn't uh, get bothered by anybody, just people that she really wanted there. I, that's, I think, is a, is a manifestation of power. When there's something going a certain way, and then somebody moves in, and it doesn't go that way. I watch those sorts of things, and, and this woman wanted some privacy. And she said, I can't get over chance. Every room I walk into, uh, I just start crying. And I said, okay, here's my interpretation, is you've got an open wound. Uh, and the open wound is sadness. And you should be sad because your son has passed away. And I said, but I don't think that every time you feel the sadness about chance, I think that open wound, when you walk into a room of mediocre minds, people living in the emotional world, you pick up on that channel and it hurts. And, it, and you can feel their sadness. And I said, I want to sit with you a little bit and look curiously at some of this stuff. And we've been at it apparently about four hours. When I get to work sometimes, I don't really pay attention to time. Uh, and all of a sudden, uh, this woman was crying like crazy, and she started, and she was in a state of wonder and sadness simultaneously. And she was looking around this hall. We were in Vegas, like I said. And, and she looked, and she said, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I said, she said, the sadness... She said, the sadness is out here. And she got it. She got that, that there's this collective unconsciousness, that, that it, you, there's a sea of emotions out there. Where there were thousands of people around where we were. And she saw in that instant that the sadness was something that she could get hit by and it could hurt her. And once she made a conclusion about it, then she had to internalize it. And she couldn't cry in public because she was a big girl and all the rest of that stuff. But once she saw that she can be impacted from the outside and the sadness can come from the outside and get you, it alleviated a lot of her suffering. And that's what I'm looking at. Um, life, I don't think, was meant to be suffering. I don't. I think it was meant to be this magnificent, wonderful, magical experience. And we learn how to make it otherwise. Uh, and I'm not sure if there's a rationale to it. I don't really believe there is. But I believe it's from our roots, our reptilian, killer be killed roots. Uh, so if that assists you, I'm really, really happy for that. Uh, www.micpeakperformance.com. Uh, my book is Noticing Fixes More Than Fixing. Uh, it's written for alternative physicians, but I, I think you might find it fun if you get it.